hey there how's it going everybody myself is prakash and today i'm gonna walk you guys through uh, a small piece of uh, python object oriented uh, code and uh, we'll see how we can create a more generalized application or program and how to think in a holistic manner all right so uh, let me quickly tell you what i mean by uh, generalized programming and uh, holistic approach uh, so uh, generalized uh, programming uh, in the sense i mean that we can enter uh, a, a more number of information uh, and the uh, and the control is in user's hand uh, rather than hard coding the information i'll assume that you guys are aware of oops concept and we are not going to go deep into the code uh, and that uh, will we'll cover in next part of the video and uh, just the two fundamental things I want to uh, show you through this basic example so this example here it, uh, it's a, a class called employee it say it creates an employee object it saves its value uh, and then we display the average age all right so uh, as you can see we can only enter employee address this employee represents the employee name address and age okay uh, and i have this uh, advanced version of it wherein we we are not bounded uh, by any uh, such uh, attributes we can give in any number of uh, attributes it's it depending upon our choice so i'll show you the difference by running both of these program one by one all right so uh, let's go to the new.py and let's run this program all right it's asking me for to enter the number of employees so one is the number of employees i'm gonna go for and uh it says uh, enter the name address and age of employees so this is the specific information i have to uh, enter nothing else if uh, i enter more information uh, my code won't break uh, but yeah information will be lost it won't show any information either for example let's say it's asking for name address age and i put name address age and uh, gender or post whatever uh, those informations will be lost only name gender uh, name address age will be shown i'll show you what i mean so let's say if i'm entering uh, Prakash as my name and address is uh, LKO stands for Lucknow and uh, age is 30 and let's say I also went out of my way and entered uh, my gender so male all right so you can see uh, this thing uh, um, the male male is not printed here it's the information is lost even in the CSV file which is just created on the way uh, the mail information is lost it's not there uh, and uh, we'll talk about the CSV file in a bit uh, but let's first examine our results so in results you can see only uh, this three piece of uh, three, this this three piece of information is available and this is the average age which we are displaying uh, this is just an additional feature I have added we can have as many number of uh, methods as you want depending upon your need okay so uh, uh, let's uh, see how CSV file is being created uh, then we'll move on to the advanced more flexible more uh, generic uh, application of the same program and we'll notice the difference so uh, how this CSV file was created uh, this is small piece of code uh, was creating a CSV file and what was the need of creating a CSV file it's it has something to do with the holistic approach and this is small piece of code is just creating CSV file and uh, it's, it's uh, saving all the information which is a user is entering into a CSV file all right so let's move ahead and check out advanced.py so let's run it and if in case I run it uh, what I'm gonna get is uh, enter the number of employees just to get it started just to get it started now this time it's asking me to enter the at attributes of employee correct 
so I can uh, have n number of attributes as for my employee mm, for example I can have name name not BAME if I can write it, uh, if I can type it right name address age post e employee id all of this is possible it's it's up to me how many attributes do i want so the power is uh, really uh, lies towards the user he he his, he has more power uh, more control over the information uh, and he can enter more number of information whatever number of information he wants so and we don't have to scale it up uh, if the situation arises that we want one more uh, attribute we don't necessarily have to take change our program uh, this will be taken care of and the reason being is uh, we are entering the attributes uh, in our list uh, this is self dot all list where all the attributes are being loaded and so yeah so uh, we we are not going to go into the codes as of now uh, code will be available in my github repository and the link to my github repository will be uh, posted down below in the description box wherein you can find it and uh, let's see what uh, i'm gonna go for uh, five attributes name address post gender and age it's as expected it's gonna ask for values for these attributes name Pratash lives in Lucknow LKO post software developer so SD gender male and age 30 so hit enter and we got this okay CSV file is created and see all the information is available in CSV file I'll come to that uh, later in a bit why we are creating this CSV file I'll explain uh, it has as I said it has to do something with the holistic approach and I'll also explain what I mean by holistic approach all right so uh, let's examine the output first so we have all the piece of information which we entered uh, yeah right and if I were to enter one more attribute it would show here and it will be saved here okay so uh, what is holistic approach holistic approach means uh, building our uh, application from end to end uh, from uh, uh, nothing to something which has an application in the world in the real world scenario uh, we are not going to display uh, this uh, results in terminal uh, which are uh, which we most of the time do in our mm, labs we just display the results in our terminal but this is not the purpose of our of learning the app uh, program or any programming language when it comes to learning a programming language we should be able to do uh, something meaningful out of it something app, something which has its application and in the schools and colleges this is what we are what we look for this the this, uh, result in the terminal and you get the full marks but it has of it it's of no use this result is of no use um, because you cannot do anything with it uh, you cannot make an application out of it you no one is going to use it users can not use it it's not that you will give your computer to the user and they will enter go to your terminal and enter all the values and everything uh, it's not uh, just it's it's just not possible okay so uh, we have to build it end to end so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll uh, create a I'll ask the users to uh, enter the input I'll save it in the data uh, database and from database I'll fire queries to get the insights so that getting insight is a meaningful uh, task that is something which we can do in our real world 
uh, and it ha it uh, and it happens very often uh, in real world be it library be it uh, hostel be it uh, uh, hospitals uh, so people use sql queries all the time to get insights and search uh, and uh, you know, find uh, more information so this is what we are going to do here so so the, this there's going to be an intermediate steps uh, which i'll walk you through let me quickly delete this okay so uh, i'm gonna enter uh, values for five employees using my advanced.py so this time i'll take five number of employees i can take even more 10 20 and this is something which we can have uh, also have in uh, previous version of my application that is new.py we can take any number of employees there as well it's just that uh, attributes of the employee will be limited in that case okay so let's take uh, name address uh, and then post and then gender and then age it's gonna ask me to enter the information for all these five employees one by one after another so prakash address could be anything l lucknow lko post software developers so sd gender uh, let's say um, of course male so and then uh, age is 30 all right enter so second employee let's say second employee is suraj name suraj as you are j and he also lives in lucknow and he is uh, a doctor so let's say doc and he's a male he's 28 years old and then uh, let's say pick some random name bob bob is uh, bob lives in mumbai and uh, he is a vice chancellor in some company so we see and uh, sorry we see and he's male and he's uh, 50 years old so, yeah so and then uh, we have let's create some uh, female characters let's say we have elise uh, who is a nurse so lives in new jersey new jersey she is a nurse she is female and she is 23 years old let's say we have uh, lily uh, lives in uh, whatever new york city see she's a teacher teacher she is a female and she is 35 years old so we have our information uh, right in front of us we just have to hit enter and you will see uh, on the left side uh, a one csv file will be created as soon as i hit enter as you can see the csv file is created it has got all the information formatted in comma separated uh, value for fashion and this is what the csv it stands for it stands for comma separated values and uh, it's a human readable uh, humans can read it but uh, computer can't read it computer cannot read this file computer cannot do perform search in this file computer needs a proper database wherein uh, uh, a database a sort of database which has its own structured query language and using that language we can search perform search per even perform update delete create all those uh, mm, uh, all those uh, this uh, methods we can apply so yeah but csv file is important because it's an intermediate step we have to first create a formatted file so that in this format our information will be saved into the database so before we save it into the database we have to create a database and this is the file which will help us create database this is a small piece of code as you can see it will create an employee t 
table which has name address text sorry text as the data type post gender and age here we are a little bit restrictive but it's okay uh, any program any any database designer will know that know his data beforehand so he can uh, design his database uh, as per his needs so th this cannot be automated or maybe in future uh, this can be automated or maybe there is a technology to automate this part as well uh, but uh, we are not concerned with that as of now all right so database uh, let's run this piece of code so i hope database will create okay here it's created site uh, employee.db if i look into it it's all gibberish doesn't make sense so but yeah database is created successfully and now we have to transfer this information to our database so that we could mm, fire queries in our database queries cannot be fired here as i said it's not readable by our computer it's not computer readable all right okay so uh, to to export this information to uh, or to import this information into our database we have to run this piece of code this piece of code what it will take what it will do is it will make a connection between sqlite 3 and employee.db okay and then it will write uh, all the rows into the uh, from the csv file uh, to the uh, our employee.db okay and once all the records are added it will also display the number of records which has been added as number of records added just a message to make sure that everything is nice and fine uh, if uh, if anything goes wrong that we won't get that message that will we know that okay records have not been added and, of, and again we are doing it because we have no way of knowing whether the records are added in this file or not by looking at this gibberish uh, stuff uh, of course we have a reader uh, available on internet which can which can make sense out of it but we don't have it as of now and that is not required so we have automated the process okay so let's import information i'll clear the screen for you guys i'll clear the terminal so you could see it for yourself what it looks like okay so i'm gonna run this file and okay it says six records added uh, notice we have only five uh, rows of information but the sixth one is the uh, header uh, the topmost uh, uh, row which contains all the attributes okay so that's why all of this information it has been written into our database and if we go to the database it won't make any sense to us it's all gibberish just as we were before so we have no way of knowing whether data is uh, added or not that's why we uh, get uh, I created my application in a way that it will uh, give me a uh, this message if data are if information is successfully added all right so since we get the right message data is data has been successfully added to this database now what now the fun part starts now we can do something meaningful out of our data we can do search we can do update we can do delete we can do uh, we can do uh, conditional search we can do a lot of things and we can get more insights into our data and uh, this is a cool stuff so let's uh, do this okay so before that we have to uh, I'll, I'll keep this file open advanced.py or you I'll keep this info.py open okay and so before we could do some uh, SQL uh, queries uh, before we could fire some SQL queries to our database we have to enter into the world of SQL, SQL and uh, I I'll have to write just SQL light 3 and we will be in inside SQLite terminal it says do, use dot open operator to open the file so we are going to do dot open then file name is employee.db 
So this will help us to open, get inside into our database. So I'm going to write Now we are not just into the SQLite terminal, but we are also inside our database. And this is the command simply we have to type to get into our database. Now we are in our database. If I could see our tables. Remember, uh, always remember to put an uh, semicolon at the end of your command otherwise uh, you won't get a, any output so if I could check the tables in Y and this is the semicolon which was missing so okay this is throwing some syntax error but it's, that's fine uh, there must be some command to see the tables uh, that's not the scope of this video Mm, let's uh, let's do something meaningful such as uh, let's try to display all the names of the employees so uh, what we can do is uh, it's a structured in the form of the S SQL query so it's structured in the form of uh, select uh, from and then where clause comes uh, which provides the condition so select uh, remember we are going to search for all the names of the employees we just want the names of all the employees so select select name <coughs> from employee employee is the table name and I hope this should give us uh, there shouldn't be there isn't any need of uh, where clause um, because we just want uh, all the names of employees so I hope this will give us the relevant uh, uh, I just let me put my uh, semicolon here and uh, this should give me the name of all the employees okay this did uh, actually give me the name of all the employees starting from see the heading it's the it says name and then it says Prakash, Suraj, uh, Bob, Elise, Lily etc all right let's do one uh, so sim in similar fashion we can mm, do much more complicated queries we can also uh, rename uh, the one of these values we can change one of these values from this command line itself like instead of VC I can put uh, whatever uh, board of uh, uh, let's say president or whatever uh, I can change this to president when the needs come so uh, we are not going to dig deep into SQL query I just wanted to show you the holistic approach thing so I'll fire one more query uh, wherein we'll uh, try to find out all those uh, people and their information who are above 30 years old okay so what we can do is select all select and uh, this star means all we, even if I write select all it will work so select star from uh, we don't have to write from yeah actually so from employee where age is greater than 30 and let me quickly close my uh, this let me quickly close my uh, instruction so select a star from employee where age is greater than 30 so this should give me uh, these two columns uh, number one is this where uh, number one should be this one where Bob uh, is 50 years old and number two should be this Lily okay let's hit enter and see what results are we getting so as we expected we got Bob and Lily uh, and their ages are above 30 years old we didn't get this uh, Prakash because he's exactly 30 uh, not over 30 so yeah uh, so this is how we uh, uh, do our SQL query and this is the end-to-end -end development 
uh, starting from uh, building our application, uh, showing results to our uh, in uh, terminal, and then saving it to our uh, info.csv file, creating an info.csv file, saving the information to info.csv file, then creating SQLite DB, then uh, importing the data to SQLite DB, and then finally filing SQL queries to get the meaningful insights out of it. Okay, so that's it for today's uh, video. I hope you guys liked it and uh, I just wanted to again uh, repeat one thing that this video is about uh, showing uh, uh, this video is about uh, uh, the uh, power of uh, uh, what we can do with the generalized uh, programming and uh, how to think in a holistic manner these are the two things I wanted to focus your attention towards okay thanks for watching guys bye take care